can just go through the motions, right? This is called a meat sweep, okay? I know, cool name, but that's just what it's called, a meat sweep. I'm going to assess all of his limbs to see what do I have going on? What do I need to work on, okay? So if I see an obvious injury, like if I see an obvious gunshot, I might start there first. But where you start, as soon as you do the assessment, you just go in a circle. Doesn't matter which direction, but it's so you don't forget a limb, you don't jump around, you just go in a circle. Even if you see another one, just go in a circle and check everything, okay? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be checking for anything wrong, pretty much. I'm gonna be checking for gunshot wounds, blood, if the bone moves funny, like it shouldn't, if it makes funny noises, okay? Like, so I'm gonna assess, so, okay. I'm gonna start high and tight, okay? This is why in a civilian setting, it's really important to talk to what you're doing. Hey, I'm gonna be checking for this because I'm about to be really close to a very sensitive area, right? So, up in the leg, and so I'm wrapping and I'm touching my fingers up under his leg. So I'm wrapping here and I'm just pushing onto his leg and I'm like, okay, and I'm sliding my legs down. You don't have to take their clothes off. Blood will be actually through the through here if it's bleeding enough. And I'm coming down the leg, okay, onto his feet. And then I look, is there blood on my gloves? No, cool, that leg is probably good. I move on, I can pick either leg or arm, right? So I'm here, same thing. I'm feeling to see if there's any bone movement, call it crepitus, you'll feel like a grinding kind of motion or popping or any blood. So I'm coming down, I'm sweeping into the hand. I've got blood, cool. I'm going to assess what that is, okay? Tourniquet, whatever, I might just expose the area and see what do I have going on here. Might just be a little cut, who knows? But I need to know what it is. Treat it as I find it. As you find the injuries, you treat it, okay? So now I have blood on my gloves, right? So if you have one pair of gloves, cool, wipe. Just wipe the glove, it's his blood. I'm giving it back to him. I'm gonna wipe the blood off on his stuff. Give it back to him. <laughs> what happened with your t-shirt? <laughs> yeah. If I do my technique or a lot of other people's technique, I've got, a, I've got extra gloves on, I ditch them. Now I've got a set, another set, clean gloves. I can move on. So I have a couple layers of gloves that I usually use if I have the time to do it, right? In EMS, we're taught not to step over our patient. We're not EMS, so I don't care. <laughs> Only because it's rude. <laughs> when somebody's dying? It's one of those, it's a liability <laughs> thing. Like, if I go to step over them and I fall on them, right? Uh, nah, I'm use, right? So, same thing here. I'm sweeping, checking for anything. Nothing good. Move on to the leg. Nothing, okay? So, we've treated as we found. Okay, we're cool. Well, now we have this part, right? We still have a, another half of a human to check. So, I'll show you what to do on a civilian. And then if they're a soldier and they're wearing armor, completely different ball game, but the pro concept's the same, okay? So for him, if I'm approaching the side, I like to approach him from the front because in this setting, we're out of the warm or hot zone. Like we're not being shot at, everything's clear, I can work now. We don't do this if there's still enemy contact. This is the tactical field care section, the part that we do. Um, we make sure that there's no threats. Now there's still the possibility of threats all the time, but right now there's no active threats. I can use two hands on him. I don't have to worry about going to a gun and actually taking out someone, right? So from here, you might wanna come on this side. So there's two ways you can do it from the side, or you can do it from the front. I do it from the front because it's just easier for me, okay? So you just straddle the patient, okay? So now I'm gonna check his torso, okay? So I'm gonna see if there's any blood, same thing, any blood, any kind of moving stuff that's funny. Um, so you can do it under the shirt or over the shirt. I'll do it over the shirt just for now, but under the shirt would be ideal because then you can actually kind of feel it a little better. But you're basically just gonna angel wing here and I'm going to pull down all the way down and I'm gonna look, no blood, cool. Up into the armpit, down his side. Look, no blood, cool. Now he's got his back, right? So now I'm gonna grab him. You don't have to help me. I'm gonna grab him and hold, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I might lift up his shirt and check the same thing, but I'm doing the same thing. I'm wiping down his back, and I kind of bear claw it, because if there's a hole, my finger might go into it and be like, oh, there's a hole there. It's not supposed to be there, right? And then I'm gonna check his back. Cool, I lay him down, and then we go. If you're doing it from the side, it's kind of the same thing. You just do it this way. <clears throat> 
So you can interlock your hands. I have small hands, so I like to angel wing. Guys who have bigger hands, I have ballerina hands, so I gotta do it. Um, so I do it this way, but you just start and work sideways. You just, but you do the same, that's the same thing. I'm just checking every wipe, I check for blood. Every single swipe. I can go down here, come across, look, no blood, cool. When I go to roll him, I'm gonna take his arm, put it between my leg. I'm gonna take this knee, kinda like this, and then I'm gonna grab him from the hip here, and I'm gonna roll him. Okay, and I'll bend his leg so that's like a tripod right here. And I'm just holding it with one hand, and then I just do this same thing. I just check, cool, I can roll him back, and we're good to go. So that's kind of the, 